Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to part 8 of my Sky Factory uh, Let's Play. So, today, guys, we're finally going to finish off this thing here, which is the, uh, the automation of me getting my ores. I can literally just put them in this and then forget about it for a while. So let's go ahead, we're going to set this to left click here. We're going to put in my new iron hammer that we've got there. I'm going to want to fill this up with possibly stone hammers or something, you know, cheap for the moment. Um, and we've got the input slot here, but in fact, at the moment, we don't really need to use the input. We're just going to go ahead and grab a couple of stacks of cobblestone that we're going to go ahead and pop there. And we are going to go ahead, uh, I think, hmm... Randomly use... No, I don't want to just use that. Right, I think that might work. Please? <laughs> Please work? What I was hoping that would happen here, guys, is that it would go ahead and spit out... Ah, you know what? It's not going to work, is it? It's not. It doesn't place. It doesn't actually place, guys. Ooh, now this is going to be interesting. It doesn't actually place. Uh, so what we're going to have to do here is manually, for the moment, pop down cobblestone. Get another autonomous activator. So this is what we're going to have to do. I want another autonomous activator. All right, let's go and set that to right click so that we can stand in it and it's not going to kill us. Um, as you can see, guys... I've got cobble, I've got a load of stuff in here, but I put a pneumatic servo inside here with a filter for gravel. So in other words, it will take gravel out of here and put it into that, that autonomous activator and get that sorted. We need another autonomous activator, um, but for that we need, we need stuff, guys. We need stuff. We need stuff. So I'm going to have to stand here for a while and click and let it do its business. Back in a bit. Okay, so maybe I don't need another autonomous activator. I've just been having a look through stuff, and I've managed to find these block places. Um, now, I originally thought, you know, maybe I can get, like, a dispenser or something like that, but... Hmm. I don't think they work like that, do they? Yeah. Cobblestone. No, they, uh, they just chuck items out. So you're left with the block places. In which case, we've got two to choose from. This, we could well go and, you know, make a block placer from mine factory and put that one down. But it's actually more expensive than it is to, you know, to make this other one from open blocks. This one from open blocks just requires two uh, redstone, three iron, and, you know, to make that piston. This doesn't require any iron. Ah. You know what? It might be a better idea to go with that. Because I don't want to use iron if I can help it. This might cost a little bit more in the way of redstone. But that to me is not much of a problem as what iron is. I want to, you know, get hold of iron as much and, as much as I can. Eventually we'll get an iron farm going and then we won't have to do any of this. So, um, what shall I do, guys? What should I do? This one requires a bow. In which case we need string. In which case, how much string have I got? Because I haven't got a lot, have I? I ain't got any. I've not got any string at all. No, because I made... Ah. Huh. Well, that kind of, you know, makes up my mind. Then it looks like I'm going to have to do it this way around. Well, that's my phone, guys. Back in a moment. Well, apologies for that, guys. Very unprofessional me answering the phone in the middle of a video. So, okay, we've got our iron now. We've got our redstone. We've got the cobble. And we've got some wood. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves what we need. We need a piston, which is brilliant. We need the two iron, we need the redstone there, and we need, no, we don't need wood, we need cobble. Guys, the block placer. Okay, let's go ahead and simulate a right click so that we don't get slapped by this thing. Now, is that gonna, oh, hang on a minute, which way is it facing? Ooh. And how does it actually work? How does it play stuff? Does it play stuff by um, a lever, maybe? Or a button? A button would be nice. Um, I've got cobble on me, so I can always use it like that. I haven't really tested this, guys, so this is going to be like off-the-fly stuff. Off-the-fly. On-the-fly. Not off-the-fly. I've no idea what off-the-fly means, but it sounds cool. 
Yeah, it's the other way around. Um, let's go and grab you. And where did it go? Stupid question. Right. Pop you there, then. Um, this is going to be annoying. I'm going to have to get a uh, clock going. Oh, man. Have we got... Um, We've got timers in this. We haven't. Damn it. I'm going to have to do a vanilla clock. Jeez. Well, it's not too bad, guys. We can sort that out soon. Um, the autonomous activator, then. We need to left-click that. Let's get it full of cobble. Seriously? Seriously? If you start... Oh, mind, m no, no, mind you. It has to be left-click, doesn't it? So... Yeah. So yeah, it does work it, it, like that, but it's not. That's not what it's for. Um, we need to simulate a left click there, and we need this full of cobble. Doing that, you see. That's what we need to happen. Okay, uh, give me a second to. Oh no, mind you. Just thinking about this. No, we need... Damn you. The, bl the block place is fine, but it's not doing it by itself. We're going to need another autonomous activator. Um, which is a shame, given that we've just used some iron and we've used all this stuff. But, I mean, at least it stops me from actually physically placing it. I can just do this lever now. <laughs> we'll get there soon eventually, guys. Well, guys, I think we've got the stuff now in which to, uh, to be able to craft this. So... Okay, let me... Oh, we don't have tin. Oh, we do not have tin. Unbelievable. I don't know. Well, we've got enough stuff to make it, so that's no problem. Uh, let me go ahead and just really quickly... We're going to need a new bloody hammer at this rate. <laughs> we saved so much... Uh, so many materials. But unfortunately, we're going to need another hammer. Uh, right, okay. Let's go and grab this tin... Put it into uh, into here, get it cooked up, and we should be able to go ahead and... Yeah, we can. We can do, and that'll make our autonomous activator, which is going to act as a right click, not a left click, um, and put down the cobblestone to be able to do that. So, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Eventually, we're going to have a way of automating this fully. Fully automating this, and I like the sound of that. Chest, piston... Pneumatic servo, there we are. Let's go ahead and pick up the block placer. And the lever. Let's go ahead and do that, which is going to get whisked away. <laughs> Thank you, I'll have that back. And you, that would be great. Now, right click. Simulate a right click for a second, please. Okay, simulate a left click. Get out of the way of it. Uh, put my hammer in. This will eventually be fed, you know, automatically with cobblestone. But here we are. Oh, man, yes. I've been waiting for so long to get this done. That is good to me, guys. That's looking brilliant. Now, it is... Mm, this is good. This is good. I like this. Now, when this gets full, of course, this will get full. And when this gets full, uh, this will start filling up with gravel. And then when that gets full... All hell will break loose and we'll end up with gravel absolutely everywhere. But I'm not going to put enough cobblestone in here to, for that to happen anyway. So, automation, guys. Just fully automated. How a legend is that? The only thing that we need to do is swap out um, this. We need to swap this out. Uh, maybe... Hmm. Oh, we could make a diamond one. I have no idea what the uh, durability on that, though, is. And I don't want to use my diamond for... For that kind of stuff. Uh, mind you, we will find more diamond. Ooh, we found one. Ooh, we found one. So, well, there we go. Resources getting automated. We still have to, of course, uh, go and, you know, make sure that our thing is going all right. Oh, I haven't got it on me at the moment. Coal seeds going very well. Going very well. And uh, so is our earth seeds. We need to collect this, guys. We need to collect this. Now, eventually, what I want to happen... Uh, my turtle automation. I want my turtle here. I want it to go ahead and automatically farm all of this stuff up after, say, I don't know, half an hour or something like that. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure that out, uh, you know, when it when it comes around to that time. But uh, our hammer is going to start taking uh, major amounts of damage at some stage. 
Um, we need a. Ooh, we need one more. No, we need a lot. We need one more broken iron ore. Can we? Can we get one more broken iron ore and see if we can? Uh, let's help this along a little bit. Let's help this along a little bit and see if we can't get another broken iron ore. And then we can... Yeah, there we go. Thank you. I shall take that. Oh, mind you, I need my hammer. Simulator right-click for a minute, if you don't mind. It's not going to do anything at all. Now, hopefully this here will give us one more uh, thing than what we actually needed. Yeah, good stuff. Right. Put you back in there. Simulator right-click. Left-click, even. Pop you back in there. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and make another thing here. Another hammer. And then we should be okay for resources for a while. Where is it? There it is. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And then, like I said, I want to uh, start farming. I want to start, uh, you know, going through some stuff uh, with regards to challenges and so on and so forth. So, right, let's go ahead and... Pop, pop you there. I think that's a challenge done, actually, if I'm correct in saying. Uh, let's go like that. Round robin item use, that's fine. Uh, so, let's just leave it. Let's just leave it to do its business, guys. And we'll be back uh, later on. Right, let's go ahead and uh, look at the clipboard and start marking stuff off that we've actually got done. So, um, let's go back to the start. Proper house, no. Ink farm, no. We aren't going to select a second layer. We aren't going to slime. Trophy room, open 10 lucky blocks, nope, none of this, pink into power, store liquid, harvester, sieve, automate, activate, it. we've done that, automate something with a turtle, um, pigman gold farm, cobble in deep storage, we haven't got any deep storage or anything yet, I think that's pretty much it for all we can do at the moment with, with uh, regards to that stuff, in fact, let me have a look, guys, let's see what we can, uh, we can get off here, a proper farm, a proper house even, we could do that, but that's boring. We don't want a proper house at the moment. You know what would be good, actually? To uh, to automate our mob farm. Now now that I've got a way of getting, uh, you know, water and cobble, I think the best thing to do is to change my mob trap up to a, a drop mob trap, or at least put a, mob, mob, uh, a drop mob trap in. In other words, you know, you know, build this tall thing that will drop all the mobs and then kill them uh, instantly, and I just get the... I reap the rewards from that. Um... With you know, use an item hopper or something like that to collect all that stuff. I think that might be a good way uh, of doing it, guys. I think that might be a good way of doing it because doing it like this manually is causing a lot of problems when it comes to me trying to kill Endermen. So, uh, and once we get that automated, we can start using those mob drops to automate other things like this, for instance. We could, you know, we've got so much monster jerky in here; it's unreal. But uh, we don't need we don't need that at the moment. The, the, the thing that we desperately need is um, a, a way to automate this kind of stuff. And I want to automate this kind of stuff with the use of a turtle. Like I said, I want to, uh, you know, put a turtle here, have it wait for so long, and then it just go along and, and start farming all of these bits up and planting the seeds around behind it. That's what I want to see, because that would be automation of, uh, of materials. That would be like... Eventually, when we get iron seeds and so on and so forth, we could get a lot of magical essence by doing that kind of stuff. So, that's the type of stuff that I want to get done. But look at this, guys. Rattling through it. Rattling through it. 43 gravel in there. I think we've got enough in there at the moment to uh, to keep us going. I don't think we're going to need anything else. There's uh, the hammer look. Okay, guys. Uh, I will be back shortly. Alright, guys. I've been looking at what I would like to do next. And I think... That I would like to get some sort of tree farm going on that uh, that I can just leave there and and just carry on going without uh, w without worrying about it. And to do that, I need energy, of course. Um, and there's a whole lot of generators over here with extra utilities, but I'm not sure I want to do that. I'm, I think I may go with a sterling generator. I did look at the furnace generator, but I'm thinking, yeah, this is a bit expensive in in the iron terms. This, however, is not very expensive at all. We've got the basic gears, which is basically cobblestone and sticks. We've got uh, all the rest, and the piston is just a redstone and one single iron. So I think that that is the direction of which I am going to take. I want to, you know, 
uh, create power with this Sterling generator, and uh, hopefully, you know, you know, uh, send it uh, send it out to um, maybe a tree farm or something like that from Mine Factory Reloaded, is what I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, I want I would like a planter, which means I need clay. This is this is fine. Now I don't know which which recipe it actually is. I think it's both of them. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use, but I, I would obviously like to go for this one. Um, I'll be able to do this pretty easily. You know, plastic sheets is only that rubber, and we've got rubber. No problem. Planter and harvester is what we're going to need if we're going to be doing that. And then that's gold. We've got uh, four iron with the sheep. We've got enough to be able to do this, guys. I think we've got enough to be able to do this. But we've got to start with the generator, with this sterling generator here. And uh, I'm going to need some stone bricks for this. Uh, I think I've got enough. Oh, I might be one shot, actually. Well, it's not as if we haven't got enough. It's not as if we haven't got enough cobblestone kicking around. So I'll pop one in. You know what? I'll pop two more in. And I'll put you in there for the moment. Because we're going to need a furnace as well. Eight for you. And, ooh, for some reason I've just got the uh, achievement for that. Sterling generator. Uh, right, I'm going to need four sticks for each one. I might as well put you back. There we go. I might as well keep that cobble on me for a second. Whilst I make these things. There we go. Two basic gears. Um... A piston, which means we need a redstone. Don't worry, guys. We've got plenty of redstone. Uh, well, plenty enough-ish. We need this. Now, I'm just going to turn this off because I'm going to do it this way. Because why not? I don't need to take the hammer out, then. Just wait for it to get sucked up, and there we go. Right, we can go ahead and make an iron ingot now. I've got enough stone to make the stone bricks. I think that that is going to be it. Just apart from this piston, which we're just about to get anyway. And I also need... That's my achievement get for iron as well. I have no idea why. Hmm. Cobblestone... Wood along the top. There's the piston. Right, we should be have enough to just go like this. There's the sterling generator, guys. We have got the uh, the start of our power. Now I don't. I'm, I think I'm going to put the power over here, so that I can, you know, feed it into where the tree farm's going to be. Um, so I'm just going to pop it down there for the moment. And did I? I didn't bring. It annoys me when I see floating blocks like that. I've no idea why I'm not getting any animals either. I should be getting animals, but I'm not. And I don't know why. Where did I put them? I swear I had some spare ones. There they are. Honestly, guys, I can't wait till I get an A system because they're just all over the bloody place at the minute. Right. Okay, so if we grab this. Whoop. And uh, possibly go around... See the thing is we have to we're gonna to have to get underneath this to put the uh, to put the, put the planter down unless we put the planter on the top and then you know have this uh, no we, mm, I don't know this creates RF as well which is good news right uh, you know what I think I might actually leave that there for this episode we've done a lot we've done a lot and at some stage I do want to try to uh, to make um, a uh, an oblivion gate. <laughs> what, what do you call them now? A portal. Duh. Uh, I do want to make a portal gate at some stage, guys. So, uh, but I, I don't want to do that just now. I want to leave that for a little while. I need to be tooled up before I go into there. I need to be tooled up. And uh, at the moment, I'm not tooled up. So, ooh, take you out there. Put you in there. You in there. Good. We're getting some weak essence, which is great news. Um, and. 
yeah, I think that'll pretty much do for this episode, guys, because I'm not, uh, I don't want to get into this, and I don't want to start this just now, uh, you know, I'll, I will get stuff ready in between episodes, so that I can come along and then just build it, and then you can, guys can see what happens from there on. So, okay, guys, until next time, I've been the Tough Man, thanks very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.